I'm going to share with you today a little secret. You don't need any experience to edit images. If you're a complete beginner, you're really going to get value today from the video. I'm going to show you how to use Avoto AI and transform your images from amateur to amazing. Let's get into it. Today we're going to be editing this image here. I'm going to take you through the steps and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this software. Anyone can use this, no experience needed. On the right hand side you can see that there are different options down here and we have at the top the color adjustments. This is usually where I start in the image. So we're going to start here and make a few little adjustments to the color to get things right. So if I just zoom out, you can see the overall image here and we've got a little bit of a magenta or a red tone in the image. Now this can be down to personal preference. If you like that, you can keep it. So I'm going to take care of the white balance by clicking on the area here that I want to change. So by clicking there, you can see that we've now got rid of this magenta color and brought in more of a natural color overall. Now I don't make too many changes in the basic tab here because I actually think the lighting overall in the image is actually very nice. So uh, all I'm gonna do is probably brighten up the shadows a little bit here and that's gonna make the image a little bit lighter in the darker areas. Now after doing that, I'm gonna go straight into the portrait retouching section. This can be found here. Now why this is so simple and easy for everyone to get to grips with is because each area is titled. You've got blemish removal. So you're gonna be taking care of the blemishes in the image. They would be areas like this on the skin. So you can see the blemishes here and we're gonna take care of those in this section. And then you've got skin retouching, facial reshape, and on and on. So each area really details exactly what you're gonna to need to do. So then all you need to do is look at the image and think, well, what do I actually want to change? Well, the hair's a bit wild here. So we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna take care of the blemishes. And then we're gonna take care of things like the bags under the eyes. The shine will bring that down so it's not so direct. And then also things like the lips. So at the moment, the lips look full and nice. We have this lovely little shine here, but there are some blemishes and marks on the lips that will be nice to remove. Also, we're gonna balance out all of the skin. You can see the areas here where it doesn't blend together very well. And making little changes like this will really make the image pop and stand out better. So first off, let's jump into blemish removal. Let's change, sorry, face refinements. I'm just gonna push that up there. And then if you look at the skin, you will see that we have just removed this area here where there were blemishes. So here's the before and there's the after. You can see that we've taken care of the blemishes. Now you can change these bits here separately if you want to. So you can make more or less acne. More, I don't know why you'd want to do that for, but you can just bring this slider up to move acne from the image. Now we're going to take care of face shine. So I'm going to push that up and you can see that just that slider will remove all of this face shine here from the image. Let's just bring it down a little bit more, bring a little bit back. The dark circles here under the eyes that we discussed, we can just push this slider up and that's going to remove these areas here from the image. And that's done a great job and looks really natural. Now there's not really eye bags here on this model, but we can just push this up to see if it can move any areas. Maybe slightly, I didn't really notice much of a change there. Now, we want to change the lips, as we mentioned. We want to remove those flakes, and we can just do that by using this slider here. So let's push that up there, and then look how this will take care of these areas really well. It's kept the shine in, which is nice, and we want to keep that there, but we've been able to get rid of these flakes on the lips. Now, currently, Avoto AI are actually running a fantastic deal. I think it's one of their best. You can get 25% off the software right now, which is incredible. And the link to that is in the description. So if you're interested in this, you watch the video to the end and you think this is the software for me, I don't have much experience and I can just use this, then go check the link out because you'll be getting yourself great software at a great price. Let's jump back into the video. Let's have a quick look at the before and after again. It's good to do this so we can keep track of how far we've gone. So this is the before 
and this is the after. We've made a lot of changes and just in a matter of minutes. So carrying on down, we're now gonna do body refinement. So we wanna make sure that we're matching the skin up on the face and the body. So all I'm gonna do is push the body blemishes right up here and remove any blemishes from the body. And as you can see, that's done a great job of removing them. The next section is the skin retouching section. So we're gonna go open that up there and then let's zoom back in to the face. Now dodging and burning is a really important part of portrait retouching. You may already know, but if you don't, this is where you can blend the highlights and the shadows together more seamlessly to get a better transition between these areas. And you can also use this to sculpt certain facial features, which can really make the image stand out. So take a look at this, because this will really make your portraits look good. So we've got these features here under facial skin, and I'm just gonna push up the even dodge and burn and look at the skin now. You can see how it's really blended these areas here together seamlessly, and that's done a really good job. Now the sculpt area, we can push that up, and this is gonna sculpt and contour the face more. As you can see, it's just added more depth in around the facial features. Frequency separation is something that's used a lot in portrait retouching, but in this case, it's something that I use very seldom. The reason for this is because it can look quite fake when you overuse it. So I'm just gonna push frequency separation up a little bit, and then you're gonna see that it's gonna smooth the skin out further, but keep some of the texture in there. If you want to change this, you can push the high frequency section up to add more texture in the skin, or you can push the low frequency section up to get more of a smoother look in the skin. If you want to soften the skin further, you can do that just by pushing this area up as well. But I would say do that just a little bit because you don't want to go over the top with smoothing the skin out. Let's even the body skin as well so that this matches with the face. And then let's just add a little bit of frequency separation in there as well. If I wanted to, I could actually change the look of the skin texture. So you can see you've got matte, this gives more of a matte effect, which means that there's no shine. You've got satin, which is gonna be more shiny. And finally, you've got dewy, which means that you're gonna look like you're really wet. Now, we don't want that look, so I'm gonna go back to none because I actually prefer to control this area myself. Skin tone, this is really good actually here. What you can do is you can blend the complexion more evenly. So if I push this up, I'm gonna blend the complexion together a little bit more naturally. But you can see here that the model has rosy cheeks. So what we don't want to do is push this all the way up uh, and then you can see it's gonna remove this because it's gonna try and blend all the same color together. So see that there. So let's bring this back down. It's around about 34, 35. Once again, you can do this with the body. As you can see, we want to match the complexion of the body as well. So let's bring that up to about half. Now these sliders here, you can push these up or bring them down as much as you want to do. So you don't have to watch me do it and think, oh, I must do every single image at 50 because he did it that way. You do this how you like it. At the end of the day, portrait retouching is your choice. So you should be able to do this how you see fit. This just happens to be the look that I like, so. Let's push unify body complexion up as well, and this is going to unify the whole complexion of the body. Now, I love this feature. This is select skin tone. Now, you can see this model has quite pale skin, but let's say we want to make the skin a bit more kind of color in there. We're gonna to wanna to change the tone a little bit. We can do that really easily just by changing this. And a photo AI will know exactly where the area of the skin is in the photo. So. Let's choose this, and you can see that we've got this lovely color, this like olive color to the skin now, which I actually think works really well. Now you can change the amount by pushing this up, making it more, or you can bring it down and make it less. Now I think just past the middle is nice. So we're gonna go there. Let's go to the facial reshape section next. This is somewhere that you can change the shape of the face. You can also do this with separate parts of the face as well as doing this with the whole face. Now, I actually think 
this is something you want to do very sparingly. If there's a feature of the face which really stands out and actually takes away from the whole picture, you can change the area. But otherwise, I'd probably stay away from this and I'd say that it's best left alone if you want to keep the photo looking more natural. Facial expression. This is quite funny actually because you can add in a smile to your model or the person you're taking a photo of, which is cool, but it's not something I'd probably use that much. So if you wanna add just a gentle smile in there and just make her seem a little bit more friendly, you can do that and it looks very natural. If you wanna go really over the top with this, you can go into Toothy. This is a selection here where you can add an actual smile. So the AI is that impressive, it can take the area and it can push in a smile. Now, I really don't like this, but if you thought that your model really looked unhappy or she was frowning, you could add a smile in there and make the whole image look softer and nicer. So you've got that option there if you want it. But for me, I'm taking it off. Now eyes, you can see that the model here has absolutely lovely eyes, but they don't really stand out that much because the actual lighting in the photo is quite minimalistic and it's not really lighting up her eyes very much. Now we can change that, fortunately. We can go into the eye section here and we can make a change to the brightness of the eyes. So I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit to around about 40. And you can see that we've got brighter eyes already. But what's really interesting here is we can make changes to different parts of the eyes. I don't think it looks very natural when you brighten up the white parts of the eyes a lot. So I can bring that down. So I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and I'm going to choose to brighten up the middle of the eye or the iris. So I can choose this feature and push that up. And there you can see that we've got more of a natural look where the whites don't look too white, but you're really focusing on the middle of the eye now, which is that part that stands out the most. Now you might be able to see here, if I zoom in, that there are a few little red veins as well. Well, we can take care of those. Just push up red vein removal and that will get rid of those red veins in the eyes. Now, one of my favorite parts here is to change the catch lights. When you're doing studio photography, if that's something you do or you're interested in, you're looking to really get the catch lights to stand out in the model's eyes. And that really sucks you in the photo and draws you to that section. So you can actually change this with a Voto AI. I'm gonna go through each one of these options and you can see that there are catch lights that you can add in and you can also transform them by making them horizontal, vertical or rotating them. So I quite like this one here. Let's just check this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. And now what I can do is I can come down here and I can actually rotate it, which is brilliant. So I can put it in the area of the eye that I want it to stand out in. So around about there, okay. And now if I zoom out a little bit, you can see overall that's really brought strong attention on the eyes and it looks great. Makeup, now if you happen to do a shoot and your model wasn't wearing makeup and you thought, oh, I wish she was and it would look better, then you can add your own makeup in Voto AI as well. And you can do this subtly or you can go really over the top. So you can just make changes to the makeup section. Let's just bring this down here by pushing up the sliders. So eyebrow makeup, if I wanted to make them more intense, I can push that up and it would make it darker. If I wanted to contour the makeup, that's gonna really change the structure of the makeup on the face. And you can do this with the eye makeup by changing the saturation brightness and even the dimensions which is going to really give more of a 3d look to the makeup itself now this is going to end up being more of a subtle look but if you wanted to go right over the top with this you can do so if you scroll down you can see that we have different makeup choices where we can make a whole change to the makeup in the model's face and you can go through each one of these choosing which one's right for you. Now I find that these are usually quite strong effects. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that they can be quite vivid. Some of these can be, but you do have an amount slider where you can decrease the amount of this just in case you wanna make it look more subtle. So let's say that we go for this one here, which is nude. 
and then let's just bring that down quite a lot and make it look more natural. And of course, if you change your mind, you can go to none and it gets rid of the effect altogether. Now, finally, I want to show you the hair section on this, especially for this model, because you can really transform the look of the hair very quickly using some sliders. Now, I do apologize if I've gone over that five minutes that I tried to, but there's just so much stuff in Avoto AI that you can just benefit from it. And I'd love to spend more time making more videos in future, showing you how to go through each one of these in different scenarios and really benefit from it that way. Let's jump into the hair section though and let's have a look at the hair here. Now it's currently a little bit wild, as you can see, there's bits splaying out here and going over there. Now we don't want that, so we can take care of it. So there's an option down here called stray hairs removal. In Photoshop, you would take a long time getting rid of this with a healing tool and other tools, but in Avoto AI, just push up this slider and watch what happens to the stray hairs. Look at that, it's removed all of the stray hairs and kept the outline of the hair looking perfect. Incredible, one of my favorite features inside this software, absolutely. Now there are more things that you could do here. You could change the color of the hair. You can make masks for different sections of the model, the skin, the face, the eyes, there's lots of things. But I think this is actually really nice leaving this image roundabout here. Now, I really hope that you found this useful. And more importantly, I hope that you've taken away from this video that you can be a beginner. You can use these sliders in Avoto AI and you can make complete changes without any experience. If this is something you're interested in, remember you can get that 25% off, up to 25% off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.